Hello, this is Jack Buckley with Southern California Yacht Sales. Spring is finally here and the economy is finally turning for the better. And it's a perfect time for you to come on down and take a look at all the boats that we have in inventory as well as uh, all the boats that are around the country. And we're happy to co-op anything, anywhere to find you the perfect dream boat. We work with all brokers up and down the state. We work with integrity and honesty to help you find the perfect boat for you and your family. So come on down to San Diego and join us here at Southern California Yacht Sales and get back into the boating lifestyle. You'll love it. Go. Okay, this is a uh, 1969 Grand Banks Europa style. It's 50 foot long. Uh, it's mainly teak and some mahogany. Um, it's uh, in good order throughout. All the bright work has recently been done. The decking has recently been done. And it has recently been up to Alaska in 2008. Um, took it about 3,500 miles up to Alaska and back, visiting Petersburg. Juno, Glacier Bay, uh, back via Pelican, and back to Bainbridge Island, where it was in situ for quite some time. Um, and that's about it for the description of the vessel. The swim platform has recently been replaced, as have some items inside, which we'll cover in a minute. Okay, tell us what we have back here. Back here is the uh, obviously the aft deck area. We have an emergency escape hatch there. Uh, the decking, as you can see, has all been. When I first bought it, had teak oil all over it, which was revolting stuff. That's all been removed. It didn't look very attractive. So we have quite a nice uh, honey finish with this Semco. And we have uh, one. Or, no, we've got two coats on now. There's going to be a further three or four coats put on in the next few weeks. It goes on really quickly. It needs to be done about once every six months, put another coat or two on. It literally takes about an hour or two to put it on. Um, picking up one of the fly fish, the paintwork is in good order, it needs to be done. The funnel is just a storage area and there's further storage underneath the seating. There is a micro commander here which is duplicated in the pilot house. That was an upgrade that was done prior to my purchase, but it was a very valuable upgrade. And uh, instead of having four levers, you just have the two levers. Great for the maneuvering the vessel. Um, the radio that you see to your right there, which is actually defunct, I have a replacement for that, and that will be face mounted approximately here, which will protect it more from the elements as well. Um, bow thruster also included dual controls in the pilot house and upon the flybridge and uh, the autopilot also has to be replaced at the moment that's in order and that will be in the next few minutes. Let them know that it's going to be in San Diego and that's all it's going to be. Um, otherwise, it's connection. The hoist here is uh, capable of lifting 450 kilos, which is more than enough to lift the, the tender. The engine uh, works very well. On your own, it's a bit of a it can be done. I've done it quite a few times myself. I always put it up here if I'm going across a large expanse of water where they could become moving forward through into the salon area. Got a uh, nice sort of minimalistic finish here with a 42 inch plasma, extremely comfortable. Um, literally has been described in, by many people as being like an apartment on the water. Where the old television set was, I've installed I went to some length to find one which fitted perfectly and this fits in here with a fold down frontage and it does supply two kilowatts of heat through a convector system and that really takes the edge off a cold evening 
even up in Seattle or Alaska it really makes it um, in fact with that and a two kilo electric oil fire it's plenty warm enough around here 42 inch plasma TV high definition um, which is accompanied by the PlayStation acts as a blu-ray high definition video player um, as I say no uh, no television but I use it for watching movies some samples here of uh, my trip to Alaska and the shots that I took uh, on a, a trip of a lifetime there is a uh, stereo sound system and that is wired up also to speakers on the flybridge and into the, the stateroom cabin over here full size fridge freezer and a microwave along with a propane gas cooker with four rings and oven and a grill the propane gas seems to last a lifetime not to say I, I eat out a lot but uh, I seem to change about once every eight months these little containers and they're stored on the outside of the vessel in a cupboard compartment um, which is the best place for it to be from a safety aspect very spacious very comfortable controls for the uh, for the batteries the inverter charger up here and all these controls and everything will be run through to the prospective new owner into the pilot house here a great place to dry the vessel from up here you can put a lot of hours in here I covered single-handed about 450 miles from uh, Shearwater north of Vancouver Island heading down to Bainbridge Island um, and it was a long trip but I couldn't have done it without the equipment that is the autopilot, the radar, guard alarm and uh, the very comfortable seat over there again the Micro Commander here uh, really good upgrade and uh, makes it very easy to maneuver the vessel it's got the Raymarine C80, it has the bow thruster it has one other piece of equipment here which is uh, a yacht controller, it's a Wi-Fi yacht controller and if I just give you a demonstration here you switch on there they'll send you a, an alarm, a little beep we're then synchronized by turning on the power here and then if the engines were running we can maneuver the boat in slow stern or slow ahead on the port or starboard engine this button here as you'll see now that operates the bow thruster these two are not wired up but they could be wired up for the windlass so you can control the uh, the raising and well, certainly the, the raising of the anchor um, and that's really quite useful if you're in a, a dock on your own if there's no wind then you can control the vessel with just a slower head and slower stern Raymarine C80 I've got the charts for uh, down here Baja California California, Alaska so all the charts will come with the the chart product. The radar, anybody who buys the vessel, I'll be teaching them how to use the radar, the most useful aspects of it, the guard alarm, uh, electronic uh, uh, variable range markers and electronic bearing lines along with guard alarm. VHF radio, a new installed ICOM, good make. It's going to be a very similar one which is going up on the flybridge in the next week or two. Um, what else we have here? Anonometer. It's uh, all okay. Powerful windlass operated by a three, uh, four kilowatt generator, which is down in the uh, the port engine room, which is an Onan generator. Very reliable. Never let me down. The, the windlass is. Uh, the main anchor which you can see just there is a spare anchor and there's another anchor on the flybridge comes with 400 feet of chain there's a tannoy system floodlight system and shore power comes in the form of 50 amp or 30 amp 50 amp is 125-250 plenty of storage on the Moving further down, got a V berth cabin for uh, kids, deckhands, undesirables, and back here you got a uh, a nice 
double bed here with its own self-contained head and shower. And they have the privacy, they can shut this door here and they have complete privacy from this point forwards. So you have any, uh, any guests that can have over while and keep them in there and they feel very private. Starboard engine room, uh, vessel is a twin screw fitted with two Ford Lehman 120 engines, velvet drive drop down transmissions, s uh, heater over there for colder climates, don't really need it, neither do you need air conditioning down here because it just doesn't get too hot. Uh, engines in good order, got approximately 4,000 hours on each engine. Fuel running is approximately four to four and a half gallons an hour, running at seven and a half to eight knots. Optimum revs is 1800 revs. Hang on, working here. Brand new Freedom 3000 inverted charger. Uh, one of the most intelligent inverted chargers has uh, been installed less than 12 months ago. Uh, there is a water maker. Uh, I will be honest, I have never commissioned it. it I believe it needs to be deep pickled or some such thing, which uh, would have a small charge to do that. But with 300 gallons of fresh water on board, you really don't need it. I've never found the need for it. The fuel capacity on the vessel is 1,200 gallons. It gives you a range of approximately 2,000 miles. Primary secondary fuel filters recently done. Uh, moving further aft. To the starboard side, sorry, the port side, we have a single cabin which has recently been changed into an office. Um, for a liverboard in this day and age, everybody wants an office. And I run it off uh, the internet access through a, a plug in USB stick. And it's nice to come down here, no reflections off windows. You can sit down nice and quiet and concentrate on what you want to do. The stateroom head. Brand new toilet, fitted approximately a year ago in San Francisco uh, boatyard, um, and that is a macerator electric toilet. I found that the vacuum flush had a lot of problems with blockages and uh, problems with the, the ductile valves, etc. So this is a much more reliable system. The stateroom cabin, uh, an upgrade here was the queen size bed. The Europa Grand Banks 50 does not normally come with a queen size bed comes with two single beds and a chest of drawers in the middle. So this is an upgrade giving plenty of comfort. It's got a custom made Tempura mattress. Very comfortable, very cozy in here. New nightstands, all in teak has been fitted. One little electric uh, oil fired heater with the door shut even in Alaska warms this room up completely. That's all you need. Stowaway uh, hatches and latches for uh, preparing for sea. It's been fitted throughout the vessel on the fridge, on the freezer. Uh, the boat was taken through its places on the way to Alaska, so uh, there was a bit of a steep learning curve going on there. Anybody who's inexperienced, I will be uh, showing them throughout the boat and guiding them and even instructing on how to maneuver in and out of the marina if they're nervous about that. <laughs> 